Hello everyone, this is Siddhikur Rahman and welcome to the first lecture of the 8th week. So let's start with the learning objective. By the end of this lecture, you guys will be able to know about counters. So let's start with the overall outline of this lecture. This slide represents the overall outline of this lecture or you can say what are what kind of topics are gonna covered by this lecture such as general overview of this lecture next one overview of storage elements then we may learn overview of counters what is the necessity of counters after that we may learn some of the practical example of counters after that we may learn types of counters and last we may learn applications of counters so let's start with the general overview of this lecture so let's move into the next slide this slide represents the general overview of this lecture so let's begin like shift registers and other combinational circuits there is another important element in digital electronics which would be used most which is counters counters are used not only for counting but also for measuring frequency and time increment memory addresses counters are specially designed synchronous sequential circuits in which the state of counter is equal to the count held in the circuit by the flip-flops counters calculate or note down the number that how many times an event occurred counters are the crucial hardware components and are defined as the digital circuit which is used to count the number of pulses counters are well known to us as timers counter circuits are the best example for the flip-flop applications counters are designed by grouping of flip-flops and applying a single clock signal to them in simple words the counters are those which have the group of storage elements like flip-flops to hold the count counters have modes the mode of counter represents the number of states of the cycle through it before setting the counter to its initial state this sentence you need to remember i repeat it again the mode of the counter represents the number of states of the cycles through it before setting the counter to its initial state for example a binary mode 8 counter which has 8 countable states they are from 000 to 111 so the mode 8 counter counts from 0 to 7 now another example which will help you for which will, which will be help for you guys to understand what actually counter does so let's start a binary mode 4 counter has four countable states which means we may count 0 0 0 2 0 1 1 or if you split this range then you may find 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and the last one is 0 1 1 that's why we call four countable states so the mode 4 counter counts from 0 to 4 well this means in general a mode 4 counter con can sorry i repeat it again this means in general a mode n capital N counter can contain small letter N number of flip-flops which means or you can say uh, if we represent this 
sentence in mathematically then we found 2 times n is equals to capital letter n now a question may arise from the previous couple of slides which is what is storage elements or what does it mean so let's start with the general overview of storage elements on the next slide so we need to move into the next slide storage elements means something you can store as for some days if you if we say in general sense then this is the definition in general storage elements could be in a static or dynamic so what does static says static says in static manner use a circuit with feedback to save a bit of information example if we give an example about static storage elements then we may find flip-flops and static memories and in the dynamic manner it can be defined as use a use a charge at a node to represent one or zero some of the example of dynamic storage elements as follows which is a cell in a dynamic memory fewer transistor hence cheaper need periodic refreshing every few milliseconds and one of the important things you need to know about storage elements is in static and also in dynamic storage elements both are volatile so let's now sorry i repeat again now uh, we need to we need to start the general overview of counters from the next slide that's why we need to move into the next slide to start the overview of counters counter is a digital device and the output of the counter includes a predefined state based on the clock pulse applications the output of the counter can be used to count the number of pulses generally counters consists of a flip-flop arrangement which can be synchronous counter or asynchronous counter in synchronous counter only one clock input is given to all flip-flops whereas in asynchronous counter the output of the flip-flop is the clock signal from the nearby one the application of microcontroller need counting of exterior events such as exact internal time delay generation and the frequency of the pulse strengths. These events are frequently used in digital systems and computers. Both these events can be executed by software techniques, but software loops for counting will not give the exact result. Slightly more important functions are not done. These problems can be rectified by timers and counters in the microcontrollers which are used as interrupts. This slide represents a figure or you can say a basic figure or you can say basic two stage diagram of binary counter and if you uh, look at the lower or we can say if you look at the upper portion of this figure then you may find in the right section a clock input are inserted a block and if you look at the first right side block then you may find two output one is q and another one is q bar which is uh, q output is connected to another block which is also act as an input and second block has also two output similar similar to the first block which is q and q bar and the left the outside of the left block uh, or you can say the left side of the left block you may find two outputs symbolized one is b and another one is b bar and the output the output side the output side of the right block or the first block uh, find two 
alphabet or two output which is symbolized by a and a bar and in the lower portion you may find a symbol figure of binary to a two stage binary counter which has a two output one is a and another one is b and which has also one input which is clock input so let's move into the next slide now a question may arise in your mind why we need counters so this slide represents the necessity of counters so let's begin counting means incrementing or decrementing the values of an operator with respect to its previous state value so to perform the mathematical operation we can use no devices other than counters we cannot perform this action which means counting with any other logic devices rather than counters so this is the reason to need of counters so let's move into the next slide now we may learn from this slide some of the practical example of counters so let's start we use counters in many applications wherever we come across the use of timers there we use or we can use counters of synchronous type number one suppose in our kitchen appliances we use microwave oven not all not at all the homes but but some of the homes have in that case we set some temperature to heat the food item kept in it internally the counter calculates the increase or decrease in temperature and also time if it reaches the preset temperature then it prevents from further heating or spoiling of the of that food item next washing machine we can use counters in washing machines also similar to the counting operation in microwave oven the counter in washing machine counts the time which we set it to operate in both microwave oven and washing machine we set the device to particular time and it starts decreasing for every second when the value of counter becomes zero it activates the switch on or off thus the operation of the device is controlled by counters now we need to learn some of the other examples or practical examples of counters such as to calculate the number of people entering and leaving a stadium or auditorium we can use counters at entry gate or door exactly these counters will count the persons for enter of each person the value of counter increases by one in the same manner for every leaving of each person the counter value decreases by one now this slide represents the types of counters so let's start counters can be categorized into different types of different sorry i repeat it again counters can be categorized into different types according to the way they are clocked such as asynchronous counters next one synchronous counters next one asynchronous decade counters synchronous decade counters asynchronous up down counters synchronous up down counters now from this slide we may learn some of the applications of counters so let's start counter found their applications in many digital electronic devices some of the some of their applications are listed as follows number one frequency counters digital clocks analog to digital converters with some changes in their design counters can be used as frequency divider circuits well the frequency divider circuit is that which divides the input frequency exactly by two next one in time measurement which means calculating time in timers such as electronic devices like ovens washing machines etc last one we can design digital triangular wave generator by using counters in the next slide you may learn 
the overview of asynchronous or ripple counters. That's all for this lecture. Thank you guys for your attention. See you guys in the next lecture. Till then, thank you.